Hi there, brothers and sisters. I hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, today is day six in our month of prayer. We want to continue to spend this time that we have, as many of us are at home or we're just going through different circumstances than normal. We want to spend this time in prayer, going to our Lord, our King, our God, the one that we know uh, can affect the change affect changes over what, what happens today and what happens tomorrow. And today, as we think about his, his attributes, we're thinking about how our God is omnipresent. He is, he is present in all places. There is no place where he is not. And so our scripture to think about today is from Psalm 139, it's verses 1 through 13. And these are familiar verses. I hope you all know them well, and I'm going to read them to you once again. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. For you formed, formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. And let's pray together. Oh Lord, it gives us great comfort to know that you are the one who has formed our inward parts. You are the one who knitted us together, even in our, our mother's womb. Oh, Lord, you are present in all places. There is no place that we can go to hide from you. There's, there's no place, even, even now, when so many of us are, are at home and, and feeling uh, like we perhaps lonely or just feeling like we're away from the rest of the world, away from uh, even the civilization that's right outside of our door. Oh, oh, Lord, we have not hidden from you. You are here with us, even in our homes. You are here with us every moment of the day. Father, we thank you for that. Oh Lord, we know that, that not only are you here with us, but you are, you are there with those who right now are in the hospital. Oh Lord, we, we pray for those, for those patients of the coronavirus who, who even now have to be in, in quarantine, uh, those patients who, who have to be alone, who have to be away from family, Oh, Lord, those, those patients who are struggling to hold on for life right now and, and, and can't even be with, with those that they love. Oh, Father, we pray for them and we ask that you would make your presence known to them. Oh, Lord, we pray that, that, uh, that, that they would know your, your presence in a way in which they never have before. Father, we pray for your mercy on them, and we pray, oh Lord, for your for your mercy and your, your hand of guidance and direction on, on all of our doctors and all of our nurses and, and all those who are, are treating those who are affected with this virus. Oh Lord Jesus, we, we pray for, for your mercy on our land. Father, we ask uh, that as we go through this day, that uh, those of us who are feeling lonely would know the joy and the peace of your of your presence. In Jesus' name, amen.